good morning guys from this beautiful island Kopanga. no it is not a bad mo morning because bitcoin dip i am going to show you in this video why bitcoin dip i am going to give you three beautiful reasons for this i'm also going to talk to you about how you can earn crypto by browsing the internet also going to talk about the spot market of bitcoin how much upwards growth possibilities do we have and we are going to talk about why UK people are not let into these beautiful vacation destinations of Spain and Greece. I'm going to give you one of the most valuable life lessons today in this crypto video. You will enjoy this video, so start to watch it guys and enjoy it to the fullest. from this beautiful sunny island here on Copagan. Let's jump into my office and jump! And it was a big jump and it wasn't a crash, guys. Not the crash we saw yesterday in Bitcoin. It was a, what was it, like thousand dollar crash almost. It was a huge green line and a huge red line on the other side downwards again. So we are now around 9,500. Please guys, don't tell me I didn't warn you with my video yesterday. My title of the video yesterday was, yes, Bitcoin 10K, but warning, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, because the charts were telling us already for a few days that we could see a pullback. I also shared with you guys yesterday and also in the other videos, which indicators were telling us we could see a pullback. Um, so these indicators were right. We saw this small pullback back to 9,000. Uh, we even dipped into 8,800 in BitMEX because a lot of people there were liquidated. I think more than 120 million US dollar was lost by people that were longing Bitcoin. I am not freaking out. Again, I am always zooming out. We know that 10,500, the resistance is a huge resistance we need to break. And we have been facing this resistance and trying this, to break this resistance already like four or five times and we just don't succeed in it. So then you can expect this pullback. If we look back at the chart that I shared with you guys from Lisa, we also saw this pullback because Lisa had this A, B, C, D, E, Elliott wave on the chart and you can see we went all up to the D, even peaked above the D, the resistance line, and we came down now to two point E, that should be around 9K. And now we just um, got back a little bit back uh, around 9,300. So we are exactly where we should be. Healthy correction, don't freak out, zoom out, because it's still very positive. Because we still closed this beautiful monthly candle above the level of 9,360, which was the goal for that month, and we succeeded. So I'm not freaking out, guys. Just zoom out and enjoy this beautiful roller coaster ride in Bitcoin, which makes this Bitcoin life just amazing to live. If we look at what uh, other people are telling us, what the reason is for this crash, there are three main reasons for the dip yesterday. I will share with you guys what these reasons are. One of the reasons, guys, is this long squeeze in the leverage trading platforms. What does a long squeeze uh, mean? Uh, it's a very technical explanation, but I will try to keep it short and simple. If you're along, that means you're betting on that Bitcoin is going up, you need to pay this funding rate. And this funding rate, you need to pay every eight hours. Normally, this funding rate is about like 0.01% of your long position. So if you're long like with $100,000, that will cost you about $10 every eight hours. Sometimes this um, funding rate increases tremendously. So like yesterday, it increased till 0.16 till 0.90%, which means your long position will cost you not 10 US dollars per eight hours, but it will cost you about 160 to 190 dollars to keep your long position going. So then these costs are becoming too high and then you get a long squeeze and then bam, the market just shorts and drops and then you lose your position. So that is one of the factors that was contributing to this dip yesterday. 
The second factor we already talked about is this multi-year resistance. 10,500 is the line we need to break. Is the downwards, the downwards line, the downward line that we have been making since the top of seven, 2017, we need to break this 10,500 to become really, 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 really bullish. So 10.5k, huge resistance, multi-year resistance. We need to break this. I just wanted to say motherfucking resistance of 10,500, but maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I should. We need to break this beep re resistance of 10,500. And the third reason, guys, for this huge dip was just the normal trading people that were funding their Bitcoin trading accounts tremendously just before this huge dip. You can see in this chart that there was a lot of uh, inflow into the BitMEX accounts, into all these trading accounts by these huge wheels. And exactly before the dip, we had the biggest inflow. And after this inflow, bam, this market was taken down. So a lot of wheels thought that we couldn't break the 10,500 resistance. So they started to sell their Bitcoins to take this temporary profit and then they will buy back these Bitcoins again at the levels they expect Bitcoin to go. And you might ask now, because that's the most important question, which levels are we going to go? When do I need to buy my next Bitcoin? This is a question I get asked daily, guys, and it's a very difficult question for me to answer because I don't know exactly how low we go. I don't know exactly how high we go referring to the beautiful song that I used to open uh, this beautiful episode and I will use it to close this episode. Nobody knows how high we go and nobody knows how low we will go. No exact number is possible to predict because nobody has a glass ball. But when you look at the charts and all these lines and all these indicators, um, you can guess what could be a beautiful region to start accumulating Bitcoin. I already told you many times I'm using um, this portfolio management so that I can always buy the dips of Bitcoin and I'm looking to buy it now again. And many refer to this as dollar cost averaging, which means you just buy Bitcoins along the way every time it dips. So if you buy one Bitcoin at like 10,000 US dollars and if you buy one Bitcoin at 5,000 US dollars, you bought two Bitcoins for $15,000. So on average, this Bitcoin costed you $7,500. Dollar cost averaging. You just keep adding to your portfolio. So now Bitcoin dips to, um, let's say, 9,000, 9,100. We are now at 9,500. Maybe we will go a little bit up, 700, and then we come back to 9,100. Um, and then you buy again. A little bit of Bitcoin maybe only 0.1 per Bitcoin or 0.2 Bitcoin and you add this to your portfolio and by adding Bitcoins in all of these dips you dollar cost average the price of what you paid for Bitcoins so this is a tactic a lot of people in crypto use so just learn from them and try to do this as well because please remember all these small movements can stress you out if you are too emotionally attached to the Bitcoin market. And that's why I always say in my videos, guys, zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in in life. I don't mean that, that, that Bitcoin is not important. I mean, don't stress about these small movements in Bitcoin. If you believe that Bitcoin will be 100K in the next couple of years, then what does it matter that Bitcoin falls from 10 till 9 or goes from 10 till 11 or goes from 10 till 8 that's 2000 US dollar less profit if Bitcoin will go to, to 100,000 US dollar in the next couple of years so it's a long-term play and during this long bull run we are going to see in the next couple of years you just accumulate Bitcoin and you try to accumulate Bitcoins at the lowest possible points and then you dollar cost average. So you make sure that in average your Bitcoin was not too expensive. Let's say it like this. So now 9,500 would be a, a nice moment, I think. If we can hold this 9,500 support, 9,300 support level, 
I don't know if we are going to go lower because if we can hold this and this is this nut point E on the Elliott wave then we could go up from here again we are accumulating our friends come guys step in Bitcoin is going down so it is a beautiful price to step in and yet more and more people start to buy again because they also use this beautiful tool of dollar cost averaging and at the end they've started to buy again and that will drive the price up this is exactly what is happening in the market and this is what you should be doing as well so to all the people that are thinking to buy Bitcoin yes this could be a beautiful moment to buy Bitcoin but also a warning yes Bitcoin if Bitcoin breaks 9300 we could go to 8500 and if it will break 8500 we could even fall to 7000 and if we need to believe the real bearish bearish traders in this industry man then we can still touch Bitcoin at 1k so make sure you have about 3k in US dollar theater die Paxel or whatever stable currency that when Bitcoin falls to 1k you buy three bitcoins that's how you play it I know guys it sounds very easy and I know also it isn't easy because all these emotions and all these drama chattering in your head but if you don't buy now and all this FOMO you know if you don't now buy Bitcoin will go up and you will miss out fear of missing out stop listening to all this chatter in your brain this is not only a lesson for trading Bitcoin this is a lesson for life people need to learn to let go just imagine your mind is like two people chatting with each other one is saying it's good one is saying it's bad one is saying it's black one is saying it's white you know it's this constant chatter in your mind but you are the one that is observing this just imagine you are in the back of your brain in this beautiful leaning chair watching these two people chatter about what is good what is bad what is black what is white and you just observe this you're not the one thinking this you're observing this you just watch it you just step back watch it and you let go don't judge just let it happen and just see what is happening if you are able to do this in life as well it will tremendously reduce your stress factor let me give you an example guys you're driving your car and you're driving this beautiful coastal road with beautiful views of the sea suddenly another car is driving up front of you this guy is only driving 60 kilometers an hour but you want to drive 80 kilometers an hour what will happen you will start to internally scream at this guy come on man drive faster oh yo yo it's not a bicycle lane uh, hurry up uh, go faster why are you doing this why are you slowing me down and, and one part of your mind is saying ah maybe you can overtake him this is the mind chatter I'm talking about if you step back listen to this beautiful music in your car watch this beautiful coastal scene and just tell yourself wow it will only like take me five minutes more to reach my next destination so why would I stress about it well, just step back enjoy the environment even thank this guy in the car in front of you for slowing down because now you're able to enjoy this beautiful beautiful coastal scene and listen to this beautiful music instead of stressing this is an example of letting go and this is also what you need to do in the crypto market that's what I mean with zoom out don't stress about the minute chart don't stress about the five minute chart don't even stress four hour or in the day chart if you're not a day trader all these time frames don't matter a day trader looks at these small time frames an investor like you looks at the bigger time frames weekly monthly charts so that is where you could stress on but that's not happening in the next couple of years if it up, comes up to me because I really believe that we are going to see a next bull run um, to uh, tell you a little bit more about Bitcoin because if you look at the Bitcoin spot market that is the market of Bitcoin trading buying in Bitcoin and selling Bitcoin we now have a four billion dollar spot market if this market keeps growing in this growth rate we are growing now we could easily exceed the US equity market in like four years because all these institutional investors are seeing um, the power and also the fun of course of trading Bitcoin and buying Bitcoin 
and um, this market can grow tremendously well, we are just a very small market if we compare bitcoin to all the other equity markets or to all the other uh, fx markets or bond markets because to give you an example the equity market in the us is like 440 billion dollar the bond market in the us is about like 800 billion dollar and i think the global fx market is about 1900 billion dollar so four billion dollar very small small market huge upwards potential for bitcoin there that's why it's very important to see that all these institutional investors are truly becoming believers like we already did for a few years ago and this is very positive for the whole market that was enough chatter about bitcoin <laughs> Also cool news guys is the Brave browser. I don't know if you're using the Brave browser. I've been using it now and then. I still find it difficult um, to choose that one directly on my iPhone because I mostly go into Safari. I'm most linked to Safari. So I need to adjust my settings, I know. Um, but the Brave browser is growing tremendously. They have now about 15.3 million monthly users they even have like 5 million daily users brave is this privacy browser where your privacy is protected and at the same time you can earn crypto you can earn crypto if you watch the advertisements in the brave browser you get paid in bat token which stands for basic attention token and you can use this token to trade but you can also use it, this token to appreciate content creators and donate a little bit of bet to them so it's a really cool browser i will use it more and more all this stuff you're doing in a normal browser that is not paying you for your precious time you're spending on their platforms and even not protecting you for your and your privacy we will add a link guys below my video so if you want to sign up to it use the link enjoy browsing privately well you earn crypto at the same time the only thing i still want to discuss with you guys is this strange situation i saw because i was eating this beautiful italian food yesterday in a rimini restaurant here on copagan but while eating this i heard these tourists speaking about that there was now a ban on uk people to travel to for example spain or greece for the summer i find this like very 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 crazy because what if maybe this greek guy goes on holiday in the netherlands where he meets a uk guy in amsterdam they have a beer they switch the glasses shit i drunk the uk guy's beer i now have covid the greek guy didn't visit the uk but goes back to greece and then spreads covid again i can't understand why these countries are doing this why they are just killing their industry of tourism because uk people love to travel and they love to visit and spend money in these countries i think i will leave it with this because i don't want to give attention to something i really not fully support or believe in at least not in the way it is like showed by the huge media and governments wow i don't want to end this video negative how can i end this video positive we'll end this video with a guy i like i love his songs his name is bob marley i like all the things he says in his songs like for example this one i hope you can see it this boat is called no woman no cry only in copagan guys are boats named after the songs of bob marley um, which makes me end with a bob marley quote guys always remember emancipate yourselves from mental slavery none but ourselves can free our mind this is also referring to letting go so i hope you really enjoyed this video again if you did enjoy it give the video a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel hit the bell button so you'll be notified on every new video i make again while sweating on this beautiful beach here in Koh Phangan, thailand i wish you guys an amazing day please also always remember to zoom out in crypto to zoom in in life enjoy life every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living thanks for watching see you tomorrow again Bye.